Hi folks, it's Max from uh, Nexus4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 4 um, on a Linux Ubuntu. I also have a guide for Mac and uh, Windows. Just check the descriptions if you have a Mac or um, Windows. Anyway, uh, let's do this. First what you want to do is uh, go ahead and go to Settings and go to uh, Developer Options. Now if you don't see Developer Options um, you can go to about phone, go to the bottom, and just keep hitting build number until it says you are a developer. Since I am already a developer, it says I'm already a developer. Uh, once you do that, you'll see developer options. Uh, make sure it's the developer option itself is on, and also USB debugging is checked on, and then connect it to your Linux OS X. Uh, sorry, Linux uh, Ubuntu computer. It can be any kind of Linux also. Uh, or Ubuntu. Connect it uh, and then leave it aside and let's go to your computer or my computer. Next you'll need to download uh, nexus 4 rootzip um, or you can just, uh, I'll have the links on my website uh, in the step-by-step -step descriptions or you can just go to downloadandroidrom.com go browse to uh, nexus 4 and go to the rooting directory and you'll find nexus 4 rootzip here also and uh, give it five seconds here and you can click to download uh, should take no more than a minute there you go now it's downloading uh, once you've downloaded the nexus for root.zip uh, we should be all good to go and the uh, first thing we're going to do is actually back up all your settings and apps using ADB backup method uh, it's kind of experimental but it does work and uh, you can you can back up your apps and settings. It's supposed to be able to app up all of your internal storage also, but uh, in my testing it didn't work right. Uh, the best way to do that is simply copy the contents of your uh, Nexus 4. Uh, let me see. I think it's right up here. Um, yeah, it's not showing up for some reason. Uh, but go ahead and copy it over. Um, everything in your internal storage connected as a disk drive to your computer and copy it you know into a folder and then you can copy it back after you root because when you unlock the bootloader it's gonna wipe out all the contents of your internal storage um, you know so that's why you need to back it up back that ass up um, so let's give it as 50 more seconds here and uh, I don't know why my Nexus 4 isn't picking up here um, but it should be coming well it's not showing up for some reason um, if you have trouble, you can use this app called AirDroid app, and that will allow you to wirelessly connect um, your Nexus 4 and copy it that way too. Um, so go ahead and uh, open up Nexus4.zip, and you'll have to extract it. Um, let's go ahead and extract it. Create a folder called uh, Nexus 4 root, like that. All right. Nexus for root. All right, and then um, you're gonna extract it here. So go ahead and hit extract, and then you can do show all files here, and you should be all good to go. You sh it should be in your downloads folder, Nexus uh, for root. So you're all good to go. Go ahead and open up a terminal. Uh, if you don't know how to open up a terminal, do a search up here. Uh, just type terminal, and you can open up a terminal here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type sudo -i. Um this will allow you to run your uh your whole um system under root. Um your password is basically whatever you made for your username, so go ahead and enter it. And then we're going to go to your directory. Um go cd ho slash home slash uh your username. My username on my this uh Linux computer is ma and then go to um, downloads like that slash um, nexus for root like that alright and uh, if you have trouble doing this um, just just uh, double check the uh, capitals and stuff are right so I've got exactly the same downloads nexus for root exactly like that so once I'm in this directory we're gonna try to see if our ADB um, device is connected so type Actually, first do ls minus l like that. ls ls space minus l. This will show us the permissions and stuff. Right now, it's not actually runnable, so we're gonna have to type chmod space seven five five state space star. <clears throat> this will change all the permissions. Right now, it's read only. If you do ls minus l again now, now it's gonna be executable. The x is means executable. 
So we're gonna next do dot slash adb dash Linux space uh, devices. Let me go ahead and uh, change this a little bit so you can see better. And this will start the ADB, which talks to your phone. And if you see device, you're all good to go. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and back up all of our apps, uh, app data, and your Wi-Fi settings, stuff like that. It's not going to back up your internal storage again. Um, do make a backup separately on your hard disk beforehand, all right, before you do this. So next, we're going to type a dot slash ADB Linux uh, space, and we're going to type backup space minus apk this will ba back up all the uh, application actual files and also minus all will uh, back up everything else the system files your app settings uh, data data app data and then uh, minus all and space minus f and then whatever you want to name it for this purpose i'm just going to name it backup.ab like that all right and hit enter and then um, it says you'll you have to unlock your device. So go ahead and unlock your device and hit back up my data. And this should take um, you know anywhere between a minute to um, you know ten minutes, depending on how many apps you have and how much app data you have. Uh, if you have like you know a lot of games and stuff, it might take a long time. But mine shouldn't take too long. I just have like two three apps in there, uh, and it's just yeah. It should be done real shortly here. And uh, this is a great way. Before, um, Android didn't have this, so you lost all your data. But now you can use this to back up your you know, app data so you don't lose it. It also backs up your background. Um, so we'll be able to see this after we lose it. So that's done. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let me pause real quick. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn off our phone and put it into bootloader mode. Uh, power off, okay, and go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button. Hold down the volume down first, and then the power button. Wait till it powers off, though. So it's powering off. All right. Go ahead and hold down the volume down, and then hit the power button. Hold both buttons down until you see this. All right, and then connect it to your computer. And we're going to go ahead and unlock the bootloader. It should say lock state locked. Uh, let's go back here, enter some commands, and uh, unlock the bootloader. Just type fastboot, oops, sorry, dot slash fastboot dash Linux space OEM space unlock. This will unlock our device. Um, go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see unlock bootloader. Say yes, uh, click the power button. And go ahead and hit start, and this will reboot your phone. And uh, we'll be back in one reboot. All right, uh, once rebooted, um, you should have everything wiped, so you should have to start over. You can skip all of this uh, because you can always um, you can restore your data, and uh, it should restore it for you. Um, so that is all done, and or you can set it up later. And uh, all right, once this, you get to this point, connect it back to your computer via micro USB cable and uh, we're gonna go ahead and copy some files uh, well you know what I am having some trouble uh, for some reason it's not recognizing if you have that kind of problem uh, let me see what you can do with Linux here um, I don't know why it, it will not recognize um oh there we go it says connected as media device I'm um, try connected using PTP mode and uh, that should actually probably work. Yeah, I think it worked. All right, there we go. Let's go to our computer. Oh, you know what? Um, to connect the Nexus 4 on Ubuntu, you gotta do a bunch of hacks. Never mind. There's an easier way. Um, you can also download. Go ahead and download the Super User app straight down to your phone. Um, so go ahead and go to your browser. And uh, let's just download it from downloadandrobrom.com. Uh, download. Sorry, this, this angle is makes me hard to type. Um, go here, and uh, we'll just download one of the. Uh, uh, go to tools here, and uh, you'll be able to download CWM um, zip files here. Go to SuperSU, 
and then go download the latest version. Um, 0 0.98 will work. Any of the versions actually will work. And you can also always update after um, installing it. Um, yeah, you can update it in Play Store to the latest version if you want. Not that it makes a difference. Uh, these these apps actually pretty much do the same thing. And uh, give it a second here, uh, and uh, you'll be able to download. You'll see the download. It's still loading for some reason. Um, so hold on a second. I'll be back when this is done. And I'm just gonna reload it. Uh, see what happens. As for mounting as a disk drive, there's a you there's a thing you can call uh, called MTP Tools and MTPFS file system. I guess that's what you need for the Nexus 4. Um, but for purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm not gonna go into it because it's just gonna make it way too confusing. But you can also download this file here. I'm just I don't know why it's hanging here. So I'll be back when this is done. There we go. I think it was just the HSPA that was on it. It was really slow. Now I've got the download link. Um, I connected to Wi-Fi. And this will download the CWM blah blah dot zip. And uh, you're good to go once it downloads. Uh, or if you can't connect it to your computer, I have the C the latest version CWM blah blah dot zip on the Nexus 4 root folder also. So once that's done, uh, we're almost ready to go. Go ahead and power off. And uh, we're gonna go root it now. Um, go install that file using Clock for my Recovery. And uh, once it's powered off, go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button there. And uh, you'll be in fast boot mode again. Go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And we're going to go back to the uh, the terminal here and type dot slash fast boot dash Linux space uh, flash space recovery space uh, type recovery twice like that and hit the tab key on your on your keyboard tab key this tab key on the end right if you hit that after doing that it will fill it in for you make sure there's a recovery between the recovery file at the end and there oops so I made uh, it should be dot slash but I messed up so I'm gonna fix that real quick it should be dot slash like that and I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and this will flash the clockwork mod recovery and we'll be able to now get into clockwork mod recovery so let's go back to our phone we're almost done so let's go ahead and go to recovery mode using the volume buttons hit uh, enter and you'll see that our lock state is now unlocked uh, unlock bootloader uh, unlocking bootloader why do you have to do it so you can install this clockwork mod recovery why do you have to install clockwork mod recovery so we can uh, flash the 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 clockwork mod recovery uh, the super su files the rooting files so that's what we're going to do now let me go ahead and zoom in for the last part this is the most fun part here and uh, you can actually do this anytime you lose root you can uh, flash this file go to choose it from SD card go to zero download and there boom that's the super su downloaded earlier say yes and this will install super user and uh, root on your phone and uh, this is also area where you can install new ROMs and stuff or you can also use ROM manager go ahead and reboot system now uh, you might get this pop-up asking you to um, if if you wanna fix the permanent uh, clock room recovery just say yes that's for um, making your clock room recovery permanent I've actually rooted my phone like bunch like 10 times today that's why it's not asking me but if it's ask you just say yes that way you will have uh, permanent clock room recovery and boom and uh, you should have super SU here and boom you're ready to go um, now let's go ahead and restore all of our apps so uh, first you'll need to go back to settings here uh, go down all the way to about phone go down all the way oops yeah go down all the way to build number go ahead and keep hit, keep hitting it until it says you're now a developer great job um, go to developer options and now uh, make sure it's on and also USB debugging is checked on and uh, that way we can actually use ADB and talk to the phone and go ahead and connect it and we'll do the last step let's go back to our computer alright so let's do the last step here um, type dot slash ADB dash uh, Linux space and uh, restore space uh, backup dot AB whatever the name you backed it up to earlier hit enter and now we'll say unlock your device and confirm the operation go ahead and hit uh, restore my data right there and this will restore all of my apps and uh, it shouldn't take too long um, if you don't have that many apps if it, you have a lot of apps 
Um, by the way, this this isn't like this is still experimental. This is not an official Google thing, but it does work. Um, you might have problems with it, so it's not guaranteed that it will work. Um, but for most part, it should work. But I'm I'm not gonna you know, uh, I'm just saying it might not work. So just know that before you start rooting. Oh, maybe it's too late, but. But I'll, I got all my stuff back, as you can see. Uh, my Pandora, uh, I don't have to sign in again, so I've got my data back. I've got my desktop uh, wallpaper back, um, all this stuff back. And uh, of course, do copy over all the contents you saved, um, the backup of the internal storage. You can copy it, the whole thing back into your Nexus 4, and uh, it should be running in full state, um, just like the way it was before you root it. Anyway, that was how to root. Uh, unlock your bootloader and root, and also back up and restore all of your apps, settings, all of your stuff, um, so you have a rooted phone, and also have a working phone, uh, not just a rooted phone and uh, completely white phone um, at the end for uh, using Linux. Anyway, if you have a Nexus 4, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com. Uh, we'll update you once a week with Bromley Week Tips, Hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And it's been a long day, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Stay high on Android. That was, yeah, long.